Okay, uh, I want to go ahead and show everyone today this uh, really, really horribly addicting game that's on Facebook. Um, if you're familiar with the game, you probably have already heard about it or know about it, but anyways, it's called Jurassic Park Builder. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I had to clear my throat. Uh, I find it actually to be really, actually quite time consuming. Like, yeah, you gotta wait. A long time to get you know what you want done on there but it's like if you have time to kill or if there's something you want to do and you want to do multiple things just you know like start it up and it will do its thing when you come back to it on certain times it will have those things done like um with uh <clears throat> with the dinosaurs you know each dinosaur you you know you click on of course you got to buy each dinosaur first actually no first you gotta synchronize the amber dna which you do by going to this little shack thing which of course if you don't have any then it tells you that but you do get one dinosaur in the beginning from doing the amber research and that is the triceratops um, i don't know if anyone really you know cares but apparently the the dinosaurs go through at some kind of weird evolution thing on here i don't know what the point in that was but that's what a Max Triceratops looks like. Plus, someone was knocking my door. And, uh, anyways, well, there's these little decoration things that you can get as well that will boost how much, uh, I want to say money, because they look like gold coins. But, uh, yeah, max level, I don't know what level this actually, what level he is, it just says max once you completed it all. Uh, he can output 517 gold every five minutes, which is great. These stars here represent his level. So he is level four, which the fourth level, he doesn't really do any kind of evolution. He just, just gives him an extra star and it says max on there is all it really does. But, um, yeah, there are different dinosaurs you can get based around the Jurassic Park, uh, movies. Which I'm guessing this is supposed to be like the Lost World rebuilt or something. I don't know. They didn't, they didn't really tell you that much. But they do have, of course, the guy from the first movie who made the dinosaurs. Scientist. Guy that was in the movie. Guy that got his leg broken in the first movie. Um, that guy. And uh, girl from the second movie. So, I have those guys in the in the game. I, I don't know why. Uh, it takes a while to do certain things. Like, this will take, you know, you've done like an hour. And 11 minutes. But that's how you expand your park. And that's actually the only way for you to get dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park builders to clear these patches out. As you see, I got a pretty good start here. I've only been playing for, uh, like, I think a month. No, I mean, it was a couple weeks. I don't remember. But yeah, each I don't have these plants really moved anywhere, but they increase the the bonus, I guess. I don't really know what it is. Uh, Meat Harbor, Plant Harbor. Now here's a part that I find really cool. I was really glad they did this. My brother was telling me about it. It's called uh, Aquatic Park. Well, actually, it's technically the Jurassic Park, but it looks like it's underwater, so I call it the Aquatic Park because it makes more sense to me, but pretty much what it is, sorry, give it a second here, what it is, is that basically it's the prehistoric sea life that was, you know, once in the ocean, is what it is, and a submarine comes down this track, and you can expand the track out, but it's not necessary to, uh... It's not necessary to get the the money from the dinosaurs. It's not necessary to do that, which is why I which is why I pulled it back as much as possible because I I wasn't sure how I wanted the park set up, so I decided to cl have it closed until further notice. But those are uh, Duskinosis or something like that. Uh, they're prehistoric fish, but they kind of look sharks from here, but they're not. They're fish. Uh, this one right here is, I'm um, really, hold on, that's an Armonite, but 
I'm really quite proud of, uh, uh, one second here. I'm really proud of this one. It's called a Sea Scorpion. Uh, according to my brother, he actually voted on that. They did a vote on which ones were going to be given out. Well, the opportunity given out, actually, see what happened was, um, you go to the market here and, uh, Clark Dinosaurs and, the uh, Sea Scorpion was, uh, it was a three-day excavation to try to find it. And, uh, I happened to find it in day, t in, like, day two, I think it was, or day one. I forget which, but, um, anyways, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but this blue button here, um, uh, there's a red button in the Jurassic Park, which goes in code red mode which code red mode allows you to get more gold because it's basically what happened it's the, basically the storm that happened in the first movie and your dinosaurs will, your carnivorous dinosaurs will escape if you're not careful but uh, in this one it's different they don't have a code red mode it's um I'm not sure what it is exactly but basically you send a submarine out I can hold up to three containers and uh, what those containers do is they will bring you back stuff every nine hours. Just like the code red mode, it takes nine hours for it to recharge. And because uh, it will take nine hours, you have a chance to get some pretty good and cool stuff. But, um, like, as you can see up here, it's different. Those are fish and, like, shrimp, I guess. So that's what you can do here, um, and just like the Jurassic Park, you can expand it out, but you don't get the dinosaur DNA that way. That's what, like the Voyage thing down here is for. That's kind of like Code Red. You only activate it every nine hours. The submarine will come back and they'll bring what looks like some kind of aquatic leech. It'll, if and that's in like a crystal. If you get that, that's good because that's more dinos that's uh, dinosaur DNA from the aquatic dinosaurs that's in there. That's how you get these guys, but they're really horribly expensive. It takes up a lot of gold just for one. It took me almost, almost five days for my sea scorpion for me to be able just to buy him. Then it took me like a day and a half, I think, just to get enough gold to buy him, which I was really disappointed because uh, uh, I'm glad that I finally got him, but I was kind of disappointed how long it actually took, which, you know, of course, uh, it's good to go get more friends of course oh they actually got another another one on here i haven't unlocked it yet but it's like glacier park i guess but uh that one is just like the just like the first two only it has like mammoths and stuff in it even though i haven't unlocked it i, I know it's there because my brother unlocked it and he told me about it uh a while back he actually stopped playing the game i, I don't know why he never really told me why he stopped but after I like started counting there he got back on it but yeah it's on Facebook so you don't need to make a new account if you have a Facebook account you can just you know play it that way it's available on iPod touch it's available on a few other phone formats um except for one I forgot which one it was but it's one that my friend uses and he got tired of me sending the the, the requests to him because he couldn't use them he, he couldn't play the game, so he t asked me to stop, and another guy in town, so, you know, if I didn't stop, he can beat the crap out of me, but, no, he's a good guy, though, he's not gonna, he wouldn't do that, but he might terrorize me, I don't know which, Ho hopefully neither one, because he's, like, my best friend, friends for a while, long time, uh, more than five years, I think, uh, maybe seven years now, uh, I don't know, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that, um, also, my Dilophosaurus, he's actually my favorite, one of my favorite dinosaurs in here, just because of how he looks. Like, uh, he didn't look like that in the beginning, of course, but he looks more like more like the Dilophosaurus in the movie now, which I think is pretty cool. So that's it, that is Jurassic Park Builder. And, uh, so yeah. That is Jurassic Park Builder. Uh, if this looked like an interesting game that you can get into, please go check it out. And, uh, you know, if you need any help or anything, there is a comments, you know, section of this video. Please feel free to uh, leave, you know, a way for me to get a hold of your uh, 
of Facebook and I will go ahead and add you as a friend on my Facebook that way I can get, go ahead and give you a hand. Uh, there's like six people right now that I'm helping out on this game because of that. Which is good because it helps you out in the long run too. So yeah. Alright. Well that is all that I really have to contribute to this particular video. Uh, I think I'll go on Omegle for a while. Um, I want to do a video of that. And I only have this software for only like 23 more days. So I want to do that. So alright. Look forward to my next video if you like it. If you don't, well, you know, that's too